May the Lord bless and keep you. Let's go to 1 John chapter 3, verse 22. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. Because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. So what is this saying here? Is this saying that all you have to do is sow a seed and God is going to say, okay, I am going to ignore all of your sins and bless you because you have given me money. It is not saying that. What this is saying, you have to obey the rules and regulations of the Bible. So, some people believe that they can sin as much as they like, as long as they believe in Jesus Christ, they believe that they are going to get into heaven based upon that. But if God is not willing to answer your prayer because you choose not to serve him, why do you believe that you are going to heaven when you die, when you continue to sin? I would think going to heaven is greater than getting your prayers answered. So if God is not answering your prayers because you are in sin, why in the world do you believe that you are going to heaven while you are in sin? That is crazy. When some people may say to me, Kevin, I don't think God is answering my prayers or I feel like God is not answering my prayers. I don't think God hears me. When someone says that to me, the first thought that comes to my mind, hey, are you in sin? If you want a connection with God, let me say this, and I keep saying this. Stop thinking about fun for one second. <laughs> Stop thinking about entertainment. I know for myself, I gave up so many things in order for me to live for God. I gave up so many things in order to be able to live for God, to do it properly. And I am still improving. The closer I get to God, the more I see that I have to pray more, I have to fast more, I have to do this more. And I am like, <laughs> what is going on? Stop thinking about fun. Can you have fun while you live on this earth? Yes, but if you want to live for God in a proper way, you have to stop looking for fun. When some people say that they may want to visit me or hang out with me, I tell them, I am a very boring person. <laughs> it is going to be really boring if you come and visit me because we really aren't going to do anything exciting as what people may say or may call exciting. We are going to look at videos about God. We are going to pray. <laughs> we are going to read the Bible, perhaps go shopping for food and stuff like that, but that may be the highlight of our week, <laughs> but it is going to be boring. Really, really, really boring. 
I tell people that. I don't go to the movies. I don't do this. I don't do that. <laughs> I am serious. Yes, my life may be much more boring, but I am much more secure. I don't have to worry about going to hell or dying in sin than going to hell. Now, back when I was younger, back when I was in sin, yes, I did things I thought, thought was fun, but as I grow in God, my Lord, it is a miracle that I am here today. How can I say this? And I don't know if this is the case for everyone else that serves God, but, but with me, while I was getting close to God, praying more and stuff like that, I was being shown, how can I say that? The best way that I can say it, I was being shown my life about the bad things that I was doing and what could have happened. And from the way that I am now, looking back, my Lord, tch, dangerous, dangerous. I was saved by God so many times. I could have died, AIDS and stuff like that. I could have had all of that died in so many ways if it was not for God. <sighs> Probably much more. So to get back to my point, your prayers aren't being answered. Perhaps the major thing is that you are in sin. So make sure that you are living for God properly. This is important. God bless you. Make sure you share and subscribe. God bless you.